Hello and welcome to part one of my X-Lights tutorial series. Uh, in this tutorial, I'll be covering the general overview and installation of X-Lights. We're going to cover downloading the software, uh, how to set your show directory, and then just a basic overview of all the areas within X-Lights that we're going to most commonly be used to sequence your display. In the description of this video, you'll find a direct link for downloading the X-Lights software. You'll also find a link to download a sample show, which I'll be using for these tutorials, and you can follow along with us that way if you wish. I also have a few links to my personal display and some of the elements within my display where I got them, the hardware, and uh, you can actually see what X-Lights can do. So let's go ahead and get started. If you haven't already downloaded the X-Lite software, you're going to want to go ahead and do that. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to nutcracker123.com forward slash nutcracker forward slash releases. When you get to the Nutcracker x Lights download page, um, you'll scroll down a little bit and then you'll see all the different versions. The most recent version is going to be at the top older versions towards the bottom. One thing I love about X-Lights is that they also have not only a PC version but a Mac version. Uh, I personally run off of a Mac and that's one of the reasons I love this software is they do have it for both platforms. If you scroll down to the bottom of the PC versions you'll see a link for the Mac versions. So you want to go ahead, if you're, if you're on a PC, go ahead and download the version of x Lights Nutcracker you want from above. Uh, if you want the Mac version, go ahead and click on this link. Now this link uh, on the Mac side is reversed, so the oldest is at the top, newest at the bottom. I'm personally running the latest version as of today, um, is the 4.3.2, um, so that's what we'll be doing our tutorials on. So go ahead, download the x -Lite software, install it, get it up and running, and once you get everything installed and open up x -Lites for the first time, you're going to come to a screen similar to mine right here. So now that you have x -Lites installed, the first thing we want to do after we open it up here is set our show directory. Uh, the nice thing about x -Lites, the show directory holds all of your entire display. Uh, from your scheduler to your audio files. Um, everything you're going to do is going to be within one folder. So in this case, I have my show directory set to my desktop, and I have a Xlite sample directory there that I have it set to. Um, you can also, if you choose to, uh, you can unlink the show and media separately. Uh, your media being your audio files, if you have that in a different folder, you would then go ahead and, you know, direct the x lights to go to your audio folder instead of the other folder. In this case, I'm going to keep it linked. I prefer to have all my audio and media files, everything in one folder, uh, just so it's all tied up as a package and um, it's just a little bit more stable. Make sure that you set your show directory to a place, um, you know, where you, obviously where you know where it's at and somewhere that, you know, won't get moved around too much. Because if you do move uh, your folder around to a different location on your computer um, or a different drive, you're going to have to redirect x -Lights to that folder um, to link everything back up again. Alright, so now that we've set up our show directory here, um, I just kind of want to show you around x -Lights and the different tabs that we're going to be using in the tutorials here. Um, the first tab we're in already is the Setup tab. Uh, within there, we've already talked about the Show Directory and Media Directory. The next section down is the Lighting Networks. So this is actually where you'll configure your USB devices, uh, such as a DMX device or a LOR controller. Um, you can also add your E131 controllers in on here. Uh, your whole lighting network gets configured right on this page. The next tab over is the testing tab. Um, after you have your lighting network configured in x -Lights, you can move over to this page and actually test them out. We'll get into detail on that a little bit more later here. 
The next tab over we're going to look at is the layout screen. Um, this is actually where you'll lay out your house image. Um, you'll start putting in your models and elements and start um, making groups of elements um, and how they'll appear on your house um, so we can get that visualizer set up. That way when we're sequencing, we can actually see how it's going to look on the home. The next tab over is the schedule tab. And again, after you've already got all your sequences done, um, you're going to create a playlist and that playlist then can be scheduled to run. Um, so you can actually use X-Lights to schedule and run your show every day or certain days and whatever times and it's completely customizable. And the last tab over uh, is the sequencer tab. So this is the fun part. This is where we're going to be uh, importing our audio file, setting our timings, and placing effects, um, and, and starting to create our sequence. Um, so that's kind of a general overview of all the main tabs that we're going to be using. Most of the icons above, um, such as the save and stop and play, all these are going to be used um, once we get into sequencing mostly. Thank you for watching part one of my X-Lights video tutorial series. Feel free to uh, subscribe to my video playlist. I'll be putting, uh, taking suggestions and updating the videos as I can. Um, hope you enjoyed watching.